What do you think it is that makes a great driver? When you talk about those top end guys, Lewis Hamilton and Verstappen, what do you think sets them out from the rest? I think it's probably the same in other in other sports as well. I mean, all these guys, they have a huge natural ability. Um, so they've got that in the bank and it's then how they choose to apply it, how hard they work with it. Um, and, you know, the preparation that they do behind the scenes. Um, and then it's when you get to those big pressure moments, you know, it's that last set of tires in qualifying, it's that court, it's the start, it's a decisive overtake. How do they deal with the pressure? And some people can't cope with the pressure. They can't, you know, in testing and practice, bang, they're doing the times. But as soon as you turn that pressure on, then that tends to sort out. You see the ones that rise to it and you see the ones that wilt under it. And I think that's probably common across, you know, any sport. It's those big, big pressure points and how people deal with it. Fearless as well? You've got to be fearless. You, you know, you've got to be, have a huge confidence in your own ability, um, you know, belief um, and, and, and desire. You know, you've got to really, really want it. And um, uh, that's what's been interesting about Verstappen. And, you know, he's such a youngster, but he's got this real hunger and desire. Um, and, you know, we work with some great drivers like, you know, Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, Mark Webber. And, you know, you, there's this common commonality between them that they're all hungry for it. But I don't think I've ever seen one as, as hungry as Verstappen. When you talk about the, the risk to, to racers and to drivers, you see that a fighter, when they start out their career, they're willing to take any risk. You know, they're willing to always push the boundaries. And they get to a position where they're financially secure or they're living a great life. And they don't need to be that same person. Someone yeah. like Lewis Hamilton and, and those guys that reach the top, you know, you've seen some great names and yeah. huge legends lose their life before. Is there not a, a time when they sort of look at it and say, I kind of got away with it now? But I think there are a lot of similarities because I think when the youngsters, when they come in, they believe they're, you know, they're, they're, they're untouchable, they can't get hurt. And there's that naivety of, of, of youth. And, and exuberance and confidence, and that's very much where we're at with, with you know, Verstappen, for example. You, you see it in when it rains, when the weather's a bit dodgy, you know, and they know they can get hurt, but they tend to put it, you know, to the back of their minds. We had a shocking accident in Formula Two, you know, these guys then have to get in a car the next day and race on the track. And it, that was interesting seeing how the guys, you know, dealt with that. And of course, the more experience they get to the level that, a Lewis Hamilton at or a uh, Sebastian Vettel, for example, is they will not take unnecessary risks. Um, they will choose their moment through experience, um, at which point to that you know to take that that risk. So you know in the in the practice in the build up to the event, you won't see them taking all the risks. You'll see them turn it on and qualify when they need to. And you'll see it at certain points in a Grand Prix. And I think that's what stands Hamilton out is he's still, you know, taking risks as if he was a newcomer into the sport. He's still got that, that hunger and drive. And, uh, uh, but they're perhaps more calculated than they were just through the benefit of, you know, experience. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.